If a smart symposium unit has been registered at your site, you can download the smart notebook software and install it on your PC. You may be asked for the serial number of the symposium in order to register. Installing Smart Notebook on your own PC would enable you to become familiar with it and prepare your presentations in Smart Notebook rather than another presentation package. When you open it, you'll see a welcome screen which you can just close down. To type on a new page, you would select the text tool from the toolbar and choose one of the default fonts although you can change the font as soon as you click on the page. A font dialog appears and you can select your preferred font. Having entered the title in a large font, I'll now select a smaller font for the body of the slide. As you can see, corrections can be made in the usual manner and text boxes can be resized by dragging on the little circle in the side of the frame. You can have bullet points as in all presentation software. Text boxes can be repositioned by dragging them. I'll insert a new page by selecting Insert Blank Page from the menu. Rather than retype the heading, I'll go back to slide 1, select the heading and choose Copy from the drop-down menu. Then I switch to slide 2, right-click on the page and select Paste from the menu. I'll move the heading into a suitable position. Now I want to insert a suitable picture, so I select Insert Picture File from the menu and find my image on the disk. It can be moved like any other object and resized by dragging one of the corner circles. All objects can be rotated using the green circle. When you're satisfied with the size and position of an object, it can be locked in place. Other types of objects, such as flash files and video clips, can be imported and handled in the same manner.
when your presentation is ready to show, it is not possible to have slides build up point by point, but you can use the screen shade which gives the same effect. You can see indentations in the screen and you can drag these to reveal the page underneath, from top to bottom or from side to side.